Hello guys, welcome to DataFuse Analytics. Now let's consider an interesting scenario where our data scientist Jack is solving an intent classification problem and he has achieved an accuracy of greater than 90% on the test set. Now he is very happy and pleased with the results and proceeds to show it to his manager. But his manager says that the model cannot be deployed into production environment and we need an alternate small model with the same accuracy but less inferencing time. Now our data scientist Jack researched about how to decrease the model size and make inferencing fast. He got a solution. The solution is called as knowledge distillation. So in this video, we will be looking into knowledge distillation from practical point of view in, with the entire architecture diagram and intuitive equations. And then we will jump into implementation in Python. We will see how knowledge distillation makes models small and fast and ready to deploy it to production. Knowledge distillation is general purpose method for training a smaller student model to mimic the behavior of a slower, larger but better performing teacher model. So this knowledge distillation technique was originally introduced in this 2006 paper which is called as model compression in the context of ensemble models. But this term that is knowledge distillation was later popularized in a famous 2015 paper which is called as distillation knowledge neural network that generalized the method to deep neural network and applied it to image classification and automatic speech recognition or ASR. As language models are being pre-trained with larger and larger parameter counts, there is a growing need to compress these models for practical use. Knowledge distillation has emerged as a popular strategy to achieve this. It helps to compress these huge models and make them more suitable for building real-world applications. So for supervised machine learning framework, the core idea is to augment the ground truth labels from the training data with the soft probabilities distribution from the teacher model. This distribution provides a complementary information to student model while training. The aim of this student model is to mimic the probabilities which is outputted by the teacher model. Hence, with this entire process, we aim to distill some of the teachers so-called dark knowledge which is learned by teacher model. Now what this soft probabilities and all mean, I'll be explaining in the next slide. But before that, we need to talk about problem with softmax functionality. Now suppose we feed an input sequence x uh, to model to generate a vector of logits namely zx. We can convert these logits into probabilities by using the softmax function, right? But in many cases, the model will assign a very high probability to only one class, like in this example, with all the other probabilities or all the other class probabilities close to zero. Now when this happens, the model doesn't provide additional information beyond the ground truth labels. In order to solve this problem, we soften the probabilities. We soften these probabilities by scaling the logits with a temperature parameter, this capital T, before applying the softmax function. Higher values of t produce a softer probability distribution like in this uh, figure over the classes and reveal much more information about the decision boundary that the teacher model has learned for training example. When t equal to 1, we recover the original softmax distribution. Now let's see the entire knowledge distillation process and the entire overall architecture diagram. Now these are the probabilities which are outputted by teacher model and the student model. So teacher model takes an input the tacos were ok or any text sequence. It produces probability distribution. Now these probabilities are softened. Now we can use KL divergence or callback lever divergence to measure the difference between these two probability distributions which is outputted by the teacher model and the student model. And this is the equation to do that. Now with this KL divergence we can compute how much is lost when we approximate the probability distribution of the teacher model with the student. Now this allows to define another loss which is called as knowledge distillation loss which is called as this. So this is the equation for knowledge distillation loss. This t square parameter is a normalization factor to account for the fact that the magnitude of the gradients produced by soft labels scaled as 1 upon t squares. For classification task, the student loss is then a weighted average of the distillation loss with the usual cross entropy of ground truth labels. 
So these three are the important equations which is used in knowledge distillation process. To sum it up, we have this softened probability distribution of teacher and student. In order to get the difference between these two probabilities, we have this KL divergence function. Then we have knowledge distillation loss, and finally we have the loss of student, which is a cross entropy because here we are solving an intent classification problem, which is a text classification problem. Okay. So let's start the implementation in Python in the next chapter or in next session. Thank you, guys.